Hi, I'm Adam. Welcome to my new channel, Old Tech New Tricks. Um, today we're building the Shedinator, the um, original name for my PC, for the Shed. Um, you know, it needs to be equipped to do all things like PC, Sheds, Shed PCs. It needs to be ready to do all things Shed PCs do. We're building this PC on the AM1 platform uh, by AMD. Um, budget friendly, very budget friendly. <laughs> Um, we are using the APU AMD Athlon, uh, the 5350, the current top um, AM1 APU you can buy at the moment. Uh, I bought this for £35, 2 gigahertz, quad core, 2 meg of uh, RAM, or level 2 cache, not even RAM, don't know what I'm talking about. 25 watt TDP, um, right, the motherboard. For the motherboard, I've got the AM1i from my MSI. Um, good little motherboard. Um, has a uh, PCI Express slot on it, uh, 16 Express slot, but it's only got four lanes of PC PCIe, which is not going to be that great for gaming. But who would really put a powerful graphics card on an AM1 build, really? Um, I might do probably. <laughs> um, second thoughts about this I should have really gone with the Asus. ITX um, AM1 board because uh, it has a USB 3 header on it. It also um, has more USB ports on the back and it uses a UFI um, BIOS, if that's what you want to call it, or UFI firmware. Uh, whereas this is just old, your old standard BIOS, which um, is not that great if you want to build a Steam machine. Well, you could build a Steam machine using the latest build, but you'd want the stable one, which needs UFI firmware. Yeah. Um, RAM, I just found 4 gigabytes, 2 DIMMs of um, 2 gigabyte DDR3, uh, one, uh, 1330, no, 1333, um, nothing special, just found it in the shed. Um, I mean, the AM1 platform is only single channel RAM anyway, so having 2 DIMMs is not really an advantage, but I've only got 2 DIMMs, so that's what we're going to do. The PSU, I have to say, I would not recommend you use in any build really. Um, I'm using it because I had it around and I'm not that rich. But it's a just a, a ATX switching Chinese thing. Um, I would always recommend you buy a decent brand's PSU, you know, that you're gonna stick in your PC. But this will do. You know, if it goes up in flames, just fifty quid down the line, but fifty quid. For the hard disk, I found a 500 gigabyte Hitachi 3.5 drive. Um, I'm gonna put this down. Stop bashing. Um, I, I found this in the shed. It's from 2007, so it's had some mileage. Um, I'm gonna stop saying um. Uh, it will do. It's 500 gigs. It's not that fast. It's seven, t you know, seven two hundred RPM. It will do. It's laying in the shed, so I used it. The case CIT, I can't actually remember the name, it's their first ITX case they brought out, I could be wrong, please don't shoot me if I am. Really badly put some wrap on it, um, but I found this in the shed. It's not a great case, I was pretty impressed with it when I first got it. Um, after using it and watching my PC overheat from the fact that it has no airflow, I decided that I would just put it in the shed. I've uh, well, you know, this builds an AM1 build, it's uh, only 25 watts, so that's not exactly a lot of heat coming out of this thing, so it should be alright. But there will be another video of the migration, or the rehoming of the Shadonator. So yeah, let's cut to the chase and get to the video. Uh, I hope you, enjoy, you guys enjoy it, a time-lapse video of this build.
Um, if you have any questions, you know, I might do some posting afterwards. I might even stick a graphics card in it later down the line just to just see how fun that is. I mean, the main reasons this PC is going to be doing is some light video editing, uh, maybe just using proxy media, and some probably some Steam in home streaming. It should be pretty good for that. Um, it should be pretty snappy actually. You know, maybe I'll put an SSD in it down the line. Um, but you know, but for these videos, um, I'm going to be bringing more videos out. I uh, might do some eBay, you know, bargains. You know, some wheeler dealer sort of thing where I get a, an old eBay PC and um, soup it up. Um, see if I can make a profit. Probably won't. Probably break even. Mostly break even most of the time. Um, or some old old tech. Put some you know upgrading at SSDs, graphics cards, RAM. You name it. Uh, maybe some videos on um, you know some some PCs that have got viruses. I, I, don't, I don't know. You know, it's just gonna be random stuff, guys. I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks for that.